Hi, I'm Dan McClellan, your Chargers Raptor Reporter for CBSSports.com, and this is the Chargers Preview Show, where each and every week I give you a little insight into the game to come. This week, the 4-7 and seven Chargers host the 6-5 and five Cincinnati Bengals. Both teams need a win to keep their playoff hopes alive. This is a game between two teams headed in complete opposite directions. The Chargers have lost 6 of 7, while the Bengals have won 3 in a row. Their smallest margin of victory in that 3 game stretch? 18 points. And their quarterback, Andy Dalton, has been on fire. Over the last 3 games, he's thrown 9 touchdowns versus no interceptions and has posted a passer rating of 117.2 that's second in the league behind Tom Brady at 118.9 over that three game stretch. The Bengals offense also has wide receiver AJ Green. Green has already passed the 1,000 yard reception mark on the season with 1,022 receiving yards and is tied for the lead league with 10 touchdowns. Meanwhile, the Chargers offense has been struggling. Last week, Phillip Rivers didn't throw an INT. He was much better with the ball, but still has 14 picks on the season. Before the season started, at least before preseason started, the Chargers thought running back Ryan Matthews could lead the league in rushing, but Matthews hasn't had a 100-yard rushing game this season. Last week was one of his better performances with 72 rushing yards on the ground. They're going to need Matthews to get over that 100-yard mark this week to just to keep the Bengals' offense off the field. And Matthews may have an opportunity to do so because the Bengals' rushing defense is ranked 16th. They've given up 116.1 yards per game on the ground. The Chargers, however, have several injuries that's going to limit their ability, especially on defense, to slow down that Bengals' offense. And we'll get to those in the injury report. Well, the Chargers were hit with nine injuries last week, and because of that, there's going to be two players uh, who are going to make their NFL uh, debut this Sunday, and that is uh, strong safety Brandon Taylor, who is selected in the third round this year, and Jonas Muntant, inside linebacker, who was selected in the second round in 2011. Uh, strong safety Atari Bigby went on the injured reserve list on Tuesday. This means that Taylor and Corey Lynch will share reps at the strong safety position. Uh, the Chargers will also be without inside linebacker Donald Butler, wide receiver Ed Royal, and safety Daryl Stuckey, who is their special teams captain. Uh, Mouton is going to uh, back up to KO Spikes. It's uncertain if whether or not he'll get in on third down situations or just contribute on special teams. Uh, doubtful is uh, tight end Dante Rosario. I don't think he's going to play because he hasn't practiced all week. And I'm very concerned about outside linebacker Jared Johnson, who's listed as questionable with a back injury. I think that is a lot uh, closer to being doubtful. <laughs> This is a game the Chargers are very capable of winning. They actually are matched up really well against the Bengals, but I think the Bengals just have that momentum right now that the Chargers don't have, and that's why I'm picking the Bengals to win this game 27-26. to Please visit CBS Sports every single day for your latest Chargers information. You can also follow me on Twitter at CBS Chargers and San Diego Sports. You can also hear me on the radio Sundays on Extra Sports 1360, the home of the Chargers from 9 to 10 a.m. Sports Squawk Sunday with Doug and Dan.